everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you how I highlight and contour using my Anastasia Contour Kit. I already have a whole review on this, so I'm going to link that down below. This is my absolutely favorite, favorite contour kit and just in itself how there's everything all together, but I'm not going to get into that because I always, I already have a review. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I highlight on contour and specifically using that. Now, I haven't put on any under eye concealer or anything like that. I just have my foundation. But I'm going to be using my MAC uh, NC25 and this is the Pro Long Wear Concealer. I like to go ahead and do one pump underneath on my hand and I'm going to go ahead and take my fourth finger and then just dab right underneath. And I just do little dots right there. And I go ahead and just bring it down here, any excess. Then I go ahead and just blend anything out with my ring finger. And to some people this might be really extreme, but I like a super light under eye highlight. I just like to blend it out with my finger. Or most of the time I will go ahead and take my Sigma brush, which is actually the Tabor Kabuki, the F86. And I'll show you how this works. And I like this because this blends really nice as well. Use a brush. And then I'll use my finger so that I can go ahead and have the product melt into my skin. Then I'll go ahead and do the other side. Okay, now that I went ahead and did my under eye concealer, I'm going to be taking this and it's going to be the banana powder inside the palette. I've been using a, a variety of different brushes. Uh, I'll show you the ones that I do really like for underneath the eyes. I've been using the large concealer, which is the F65 from Sigma, which is a really nice flat brush. And lately I've been actually using the large fluff, which is the F50. I'll also use the F35, which is the tapered highlighter, to go ahead and underneath the eye as well. But today I'm just going to be using my large fluff brush. I'll go ahead and take this yellow color and then mix it in with the white color and just dab both. And I'll go ahead and just tap off any excess and then I'll just pat that underneath my eye. And it really, really brightens up underneath the eye. Sometimes I have to be a little careful because it gets a little bit too bright. But then afterwards, I'll just go ahead and just use my powder over that. So then I'll just go ahead and do the same, mix the two colors, and then I go ahead and just set my under eye concealer right in place, which is very important, and I absolutely love this. I actually prefer this one over the banana powder, this color right here, over the Ben Eye banana powder, because I believe that that doesn't really brighten as much for the skin tone that I'm at right now. The regular powder I'm using is an NC42 from MAC. This is just a regular pseudo fix. And I just go ahead and just lightly just dust this all over my face on all the parts that are not going to be brightened. So I just take that around the perimeter of my face. Now it's time for contouring and that's like the main parts that I do highlight my face. I don't go too extreme. Some portions you can highlight is like down below on the chin and anything like that. But I'm just doing a simple highlight. Uh, I can go ahead and just take this brush if I wanted to and just kind of take a little bit of the banana and just take it a little bit down my chin. Just a little bit on my chin. I can go ahead and go down the bridge of my nose. And then I can go ahead and just highlight a little bit of my forehead and just blend this out. Like I said, you can use an array of brushes. It's just the one that you're particularly wearing. And just blend everything out so it's just nice, smooth, and seamless. Uh, I love contouring. This has been like my thing lately. I have different methods of contouring, so I can also link that video down below. I'm going to be taking my Sigma Small Contour, the F05. I'm going to be taking this middle color, which is absolutely, I love it, the middle color of the palette. And I'm going to be using that for my cheekbones right here. I'm going to go ahead and just guide myself. And you can feel the hollows of your cheeks. I do have a natural contour, which I feel fortunate that I do have that because then it's really easy for me to have a guideline. So I'll just go ahead and just start with a little bit of product and I just buff it in, in small circular motions and just carve out that cheekbone. And you don't want to put too much product because a little goes a long way and you don't want yourself looking muddy. And I just slightly go ahead and contour. I usually stop like right at the edge of my eye because I don't like to go too far because then you're going to start to look dirty and muddy and that's too far of a contour and you want it to look more realistic. So I'll do the same to the other side. Just small circular motions and then just buff everything into the skin and the foundation. Like I said, I already had my foundation on, which is actually W6 Sun Beige L'Oreal True Match. I'll go ahead and just take the center color and then go ahead and just do the perimeter of my face as well. And then I'll go ahead against my jawline. The reason why I picked the center color 
is because it has more of a nice gray cast so it's going to look more natural of a contour. Now these do have the names on the bottom so this one is actually Havana. I'm going to take Havana which is this one right here and I'm going to use that just to warm up my face just a little bit just to go over the spots that I want to on just my cheeks and my temple area. I don't know I just really like using this color just to warm up right around my face right here. The key for contouring is really blending. I used to be really, really terrible at it. Uh, I'm still improving and everything like that, but this is the method I, I've been using that has been working. Take the middle color again, and I like using a fluffy brush because I feel like it gives a more natural contour. I'm gonna go to contour a little bit of my nose. I don't contour all the time, but I'm doing this for the sake of the video. I just like to just go down the sides and then right underneath the nose. And then just contour a little, starting from the top of the bridge of the nose and just down. Again, you don't want to overly contour, just a really soft airbrush finish and just blend everything out. And like I said, I like the fluffy brush just because I feel like it gives a soft focus finish and it's not too harsh and you don't have to keep blending. Wow, that almost just went right up my nose. And there you go. I went ahead and did my blush and everything like that. So now for the final part is the highlight. So now the highlight inside this palette is a really nice shimmery champagne. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It gives a really nice sheen. So I'm going to go ahead and then highlight. I usually can use a fluffy brush, but I will use the highlight brush as well. So I'm going to use the highlight brush this time. And this is perfect because I'm going to do just a little bit down my nose just to give a really nice sheen. I highlight right up my cupid's bow. And that, that's going to help just really highlight the area and give myself a plumper lip. And then I'm going to take a little, and I like to just dab right here at the very top of the cheekbones. And now I've been lately just circling it around so my whole face is just illuminated right in this area so it just glows. So I'll go ahead and do the same to this other side and just tap just so this area glows. So that is how I highlight and contour using my Anastasia Contour Palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave any questions or comments down below. This palette has been really hot. Like I said, I have a review. So I'm going to link that down below as well. So I will see you guys in my next video. Hope this helped and I love you guys. Mwah! Woo